shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Never lie when you testify about your neighbor. Luke 3, 14. And what should we do? He replied. Don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Do not spread false reports. Do not help a wicked man by being a malicious witness. Exodus 23, 7. Have nothing to do with a false charge and do not put an innocent or honest person to death, for I will not acquit the guilty. Leviticus 19.18 Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against one of your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Deuteronomy 5.20 You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Lying is an offense to God because he has commanded that we have no other gods before him, including us. If we believe and trust God to love and care for us in all things, we never have to lie or try to manipulate the circumstances. We only lie because we do not believe God is big enough to handle a given situation, so we take control of people and things with our words. We act like we are God in the situation. Trust that God is in charge of everything in your life and allow him to be your defender and you will no longer need to lie. God will not be mocked. He knows your heart. He knows what's going on. You can't hide it from him. You may fool everybody else or a certain sect of people, but you can't fool him. He says you'll know him by their fruit. Let us also walk in the spirit that we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And be really careful about the motive of your heart before you go up against people with half-truths, slandering, with bending information, especially if you're calling yourself a child of God and then you're trying to say things about another child of God. I've had it done to me. I've seen it done to my brothers and sisters. God reminded me today not to worry. He's overcome evil. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. It's about you facing him one day. You standing before him one day, where we all will do. We all will do it. Let him just clean your heart out. That's what I'm working on myself. We have to do it every day. We have to let him just clean stuff out of us. Some really horrible things have been said about brothers and sisters of mine that, were so, that weren't true at all. Some horrible things have been said about me that aren't true. I know that aren't true. And if you're having to lie, if you're having to lie to have any sort of a case for yourself, if you're having to insinuate things that might just kind of hurt another person's reputation or something, question that. If all you're doing is making videos or, or going around hurting people, you got to question if that's godly at all. I'd be careful. Be very careful. And I'm praying for you whoever this is for. Believe it or not, I'm praying for you. And to my brothers and sisters out there, God's got us. We win. When it's all said and done, in light of eternity, we win. <laughs>